Hello people, I am Sky Demolisher and welcome back for another episode of our Let's Play of Murdered Soul Suspect. Uh, last week we made it into the apartment, uh, we didn't solve the side story that was um, downstairs but we might be able to get back to it and find the other boilers to finish off those stories. Um, but if not, you know, there are things you can do if you play it yourself. So we'll get into the apartment and begin the investigation there. Okay. So that's handy. We had to come up here anyway to get the um, things. So we'll go searching and purposeful. So we have a missing persons report. It's three of them. Four. And so you can. I got tossed around pretty bad. That guy is strong. Why was the killer here? Question is, is she calm or frightened? She certainly has that sort of, um, you know, magic hues and goth look from, uh, I need to finish oh. investigating before I go somewhere else. Yeah, I'm not allowed to leave yet. You know, sort of, I suppose, 90s look, late 90s, early, uh... Man, we gotta find these tenants. Early 2000s, maybe. Oh, hold on. The gun. The weird thing is, I'm sure that I meant to be able to talk to that Baxter dude. Oh, oh no, that's a, that's a different kind of collectible, that one. So, we're halfway with the clues. This isn't a party. This is a murder investigation. We wish Scott would loosen up. Jeez, just tell them what happened. They'll find out soon enough. Okay. So I don't think they're going to give me anything. I don't think those two can ever be talked to. So 
six, seven, eight, nine. I think you've seen the, the first five are down there. Spiritual book. Just to be clear, I haven't been doing this for three hours. My console has just been running for three hours. I've played uh, Battlefront 2. 8 of 14 close. Hmm. I know that there's other clues around here. See. Pack luggage. That goes. I'm sure there's meant to be one about Baxter. Um, around here. I suppose it's possible that the other's clues are actually for a further part of this. As far as I'm aware, I've got all the achievements on this game. Turn around. You're under arrest. I was about to say, isn't it a continuity error? Because, like, his gun is on the floor up there, and yet his gun is also with him. Obviously, he had a concealed gun. So that's what I walked in on. Was he after the girl? Where'd she go? So 
one of the frustrating things of, of the game, you know. You might want to move on and do something else, but without the um, correct, uh, like, information piece, you can't get past certain points. And it's not like they're really good at being like, you know. The thing you're looking for is nearby or whatever. I'm sure there used to be like card or something. Yeah, like that card. Man, we gotta find these tenants. If they're still alive. I think we've used that one. Probably that one. It was right under our fingers. Should get this photo to Rex for that amber alert. I don't know if you can hear the bells, but hopefully the bells are in there. Father, do you have anywhere that I could stay just for a little oh, while? Oh, of course, dear. The church is always here to help. Out the window. Gun me down on the street and you didn't even check for witnesses? Like you're untouchable. That girl is my only lead. I need to find her. So we know that that's where we need to be for for that to conclude our investigation up here. I think I'm like one one boiler off completing the boiler thing. Shit. Why'd you do this to yourself, kid? Voices. Those fucking voices. I was scared and alone. I just wanted them to stop. Why didn't you turn to someone for help? A doctor or a friend or something? No one listened. No one took me seriously. This was the only way to make them stop. There was just so much noise. I'm sorry, kid. It shouldn't have come to this. Well, I think I said this game came out, like, what, ten years ago? The state of, of the mental health services, you know, pretty much worldwide back then. Very similar to what we've got now. It's podcast TV, because I can. I'm pretty sure if I go out the, um... The window it concludes everything in here so I'd be um, abandoning the the other side story things and maybe you'd like to um, you know see the conclusion of them perhaps
saying, you know, if if I actually manage to remember where the other things are in this. Hold on. Right. So we may have missed a boiler at the top. We missed a collectible here anyway. It's a handy thing going back. Bring it up. So, Lillian and Lillian. And then that's the one for one of the other ones that I picked up. And didn't, um, I don't think I did, I looked at them. North stairwell. I'm pretty sure I only got one boiler on the top floor. If that's the case, then there should be another boiler behind. I think they said like behind a couch or something. This must be frightly, frightfully boring at times. See, yeah, I remember getting one here. That's the weird thing. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. Um, somebody popped in, so I had to pause that. Yeah, so I looked it up, and there's meant to be like a boiler right here on the top floor. At least I assume it's that part. very strange yeah they said you know the thing online said to enter the hall um, besides a couch and a plant and there's a plant and couches but oddly no boiler Oh well. And if so, it would be it would be nice to finish off the ones in this this part just because um you know they're like the first ones of the game. In theory, we shouldn't have to worry about um, like demons or anything. As far as I remember, they they don't respawn. So let's see. Justice and injustice are equally blind. Yeah. I've got about that. Yeah, the uh, sort of the bottom right of that arch, you can see like a bell symbol. That's the bell kill, uh, yeah, like the bell killers symbol in the game.
All right, so for some reason that one before didn't um, didn't pick up. So this is the flashback for a watery grave. I still remember seeing the ad for the Regal Apartments in the paper. It's easy for people to look at it and see a dingy, run-down shithole. But me? I saw a place with history and character. I saw a place full of artistic inspiration. Before I knew it, I was the official tenant of apartment 3A. Looking back on it, I wish I had never even unpacked. My new apartment turned out to have more character than I had anticipated. The carpets were occasionally soggy. The pipes were rusty, and I could hear the tenant below me banging against the walls and screaming at the top of his lungs. Sure, there were other problems with the place, but they just added to its charm. They were things I could live with. What I couldn't live with was showering in brown water, mysterious leaks molding the carpet, and obnoxious neighbors. I called the plumber, who arrived just as I was about to have a word with the people downstairs. When I showed him the wet spots on the carpet, he scratched his head and explained that nothing was leaking and that the reason for the wet spots was most likely due to me spilling something and not realizing it. Did this guy take me for an idiot? I never spilled a thing. He apologized and said that without a leak, there's nothing he could do. So he moved on to the shower. Thankfully, the water had no trouble turning brown. He thought it could be an issue with a rusty boiler and went to check it out. I took the opportunity to address the tenants below. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. In fact, I couldn't hear anything at all. I tried the door, expecting it to be locked, but it just swung open. I was shocked to find it completely empty. That's when wet footprints began to appear on the floor. They were headed right for me. Just then, I could hear the plumber scream from the boiler room downstairs. By the time I ran down there, he was long gone, but he had discovered the source of the brown water. Packed into the old, rusty boiler was a bloated, decomposing corpse. The police are still investigating the homicide, and the landlord has promised to renovate the boiler room. However, despite his efforts, 3A is back on the market, and I doubt I'll ever feel clean again. So that's the first of the side cases. And I don't know if I got it, but I might have. I might actually have enough for the... I'm sure you saw the whole thing and that... Oh, the old woman's secret. And mysterious murder. Huh. Always looking out the window. Looks like Getting Grace couldn't take the girls partying anymore, so she killed her and broke and her husband and helped him dump the body. I bodies. think we've got enough nightmares to last us a while. Don't talk about that. Don't get back in there now. And this will at least help us finish off those those two cases for you. The episode will be slightly longer than intended, but you know, whatever. Turns out, the reason you can't find your body is because it's not in the building. It's at Smithwick Quarry, about five miles out of town. Oh. Well, why'd they do it? The parties were keeping them awake at night. They finally got too tired and snapped. I, I thought they were just being unreasonable. I didn't know they would do this. <sighs> Thanks for your help. You have no idea how big a relief it is just knowing. No problem. You know, I never really liked cops. And they were always giving me shit, telling me how I was messing up my life. We never saw eye to eye on things. But you really came through for me. Probably should have listened to what they were trying to tell me. Maybe then things wouldn't have ended up like this. Thanks again. Sweet. And that uh, concludes those two.
Now I just need to remember how they all get to the top floor again. This way. And then we should be able to slide out the window and next week start elsewhere. Oh yeah, I could probably just cut it here and then just start next week at like the window thing but then you might sit there and be like but how did we get there? And you might want to enjoy the journey of watching Go Sars or something. So yeah, I can't guarantee I'll do all of the side things or find all of the collectibles and stuff because it just sort of you know it adds to the time it might be better just to you know pick up what I find along the way although um, I do think it does kind of, it adds to the overall story it's just one of those things you know do you want to sit there and watch all of it or not or you know should there be bits that are left for you guys to experience on your own anyway um, we're at the window, so what I will do is I will end it here this week, uh, and then next week we'll go out the window, because I could imagine it's going to go into a cutscene, and then that will just extend this for, like, no reason, when next week it could be used as an opener. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.